Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 6 of e-commerce website. So uh, this is the extra part. So this part will be not included in the full video. So because the video would be lengthier more. So this is the extra part. So we are implementing some extra things over our project. So that way it will be. Again further one, one more part will be coming. So in this part like I will be calculating the taxation amount. Like if I add to cart to products. I want to put a 15% tax over this amount. Okay. Because we want to charge some tax uh, to the um customer who is uh, purchasing so this logically is like a calculation part adding a 15 percent of this amount as a taxation amount and then uh, calculating the main total so that will be implementing now so let me go to my chrome browser first here and i'll be showing you uh, like um, how these products are coming here and where i have to do i have to do design here first the box where the total amount will come and here plus the taxation amount so let me calculate the taxation amount in our VS code now. Okay. So let me come below. Let me comment. Calculation of 15% taxation amount. Okay. So let me create a variable first. Public tax amount that will be of type number and initially it will be zero so this calculation is very simple and very straightforward so this dot tax amount equals to this dot total amount divided by 100 into 15 because 15% okay I have to store it in the tax amount and it's not tax amount this is total amount actually because total amount I have to divide first by 100 and multiply by 15 to find a 15% of that amount so first I will show you value in the console itself console.log this dot uh, wait your taxation amount is this dot tax amount okay so let me save it first and let me go to my browser so let me inspect for you first so in the console I'll clear the console first. I'll add to cart two products. So two products. So two products mean amount is 1529 and taxation amount you can see. This is the taxation amount which will be applied to this. And I have to add this amount and this taxation amount and then I have to show the final amount to the user and the final amount user have to pay for this product. Okay. So let me go to my VS code. Again, let me create a variable. Okay, before creating a variable, let me show the taxation amount in the UI first. So let me come above. Okay, this is the total amount plus again the curly braces. tax amount okay in the bracket I'll be putting tax so let me add two three products go to cart okay 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 taxation amount is going out because here the decimal figure I have to remove so we have a function by default function number one point zero zero okay this pipe will make this number clear again it will remove those decimal points so let me add two products to cart okay you can see the 
complete open uh, openly the points are going here so points uh, point are hidden still they are in, in the console but here it's not there i'll show you see 37.2 something something is there but we have removed the points so it's like uh, showing the perfectly so here let me make a box and show the final amount so let me go to my vs code again let me go to my component.ts again let me create a variable public final amount number equals to zero okay again let me comment final amount so uh, let me of this because we don't want to run the in the console everything okay this is our final amount okay okay this part is our final amount so final is nothing tax amount plus total amount that is final amount very easy this dot final amount equals to this dot total amount plus this dot tax amount okay very very simple so i'll run in the ui only and show it uh, so below let me take a strong tag uh, for the final amount okay so this is our strong tag let me close this let me give the inline css style equals to uh, font size 25 pixel 25 pixel okay and color i need blue blue will be very good for it border i need a border like border type box border to pixel solid black and let me write total so it will be in the dollar so let me use the dollar symbol okay final amount and I'll be using the same pipe because I don't want those points. I want the perfect uh, figure on that. I don't want those points. So if I add to cart, yes, you can see the total. Perfectly it is coming. If I add this to both, this is the final amount. Okay. Seems good now. So here total amount is calculated, but Okay, gmail.com, some dummy data. Okay, some password and name. Uh, okay, you can see the old figure is only coming, the new figure is not coming yet. So, I won't recommend that uh, again and again uh, to use this full function in that component red component is auto component dot ts in angular we can transfer uh, a data from one component to another component using service by that we will be doing okay so first uh, let me close this both now let me come to my api service so let me create a variable here okay hmm. here uh, let me create a variable public amount number and by default it is zero okay again i'll come below here i'll be commenting passing data from one component to another so that concept also will be learning in the real time project that is great for us so let me create a function first okay send final amount means we are sending the final amount from our cart page component to order page component okay 
data it's a parameter and type is number so we'll be storing in this now we have created amount in this will be storing this dot amount equals to data let me save so let me go to my card component of ts again this is a heading let me make in the center sending final amount sending final amount to order page component so let me come below now enter so let me create another variable public send amount number equals to zero Wait. so the sending amount is nothing but a final amount this dot send amount equals to this dot final amount the final amount itself is a send amount you can see so our function will catch it now this dot api dot send final amount this dot send amount okay the send final amount is a catching that amount and that amount is the final amount itself okay which we are calculating and if i come to my api service now for receiving another function i have to do the function is receive final amount so this dot uh, this dot final amount has already captured that amount so i have to return this dot amount so let me close this both go to order comp page component dot ts let me create a variable public current total number by default it is zero receiving amount this dot grand total equals to so I'm getting some error okay receiving amount this dot grand total equals to this dot api dot receive final amount and here one changes i have to make instead of total amount grain total i'll make grain total and let me copy that same pipe now i'll copy this pipe because i don't want those points so if i add to cart if I click on checkout, abc at gmail.com uh, name is okay. This password uh, placeholder I'll change first. 
so let it be name okay let's do once again add to cart both check out abc at gmail.com abc mumbai and if i order i'll get the perfect uh, the total amount now so thanks for watching this video please do like and subscribe thank you